Hey everybody, my name is Susan Fieldstein and I'm doing the evening devotion tonight. This comes from Living Grace, Walk in Love by Bob Goff. And the title of this devotion is God Isn't Wowed by Fancy Words. He delights in humble hearts. Let us draw near to God with a sincere heart and with the full assurance that faith brings, having our hearts sprinkled to cleanse us from a guilty conscience and having our bodies washed with pure water. And that comes from Hebrews 10, 22. I wasn't raised in the church. After putting my hope in Jesus, I went to Bible study. I wasn't really sure what that was, but I remember that we would always pray at the end, each person following the next around the circle. There was one guy who always knew how to pray. Know what I mean? His words came out eloquently like he had been reading Shakespeare all day or had a speechwriter on staff. A couple of times I opened my eyes just a little bit to see if he was reading from a teleprompter. Lord, God, Father Almighty, we beseech you, led every sentence in the keynote address. I remember thinking that I would be a little weirded out if someone beseeched me after calling me Mr. Golf, Robert, Bob, hey you. I'd get all tongue-tied and didn't have anything to reach for except really simple words and phrases. I felt like a kindergartner in front of these learned and well-versed believers who might as well have been reciting Hamlet. I didn't have the Bible memorized. I didn't have a big vocabulary. My prayers felt more like my conversations with imaginary friends when I was little, with a few more requests and apologies. I'm not knocking people who are good with words. It's a true gift and one I appreciate. But you can imagine my relief learning God isn't wowed by fancy words. He delights in humble hearts. He knows what we want already, and he sees through our words, big and small, to the heart behind them. He's not looking for code words. He's just glad to hear from us. God's more interested in a conversation with us than a rehearsed speech. He values the relationship, and relationships happen with real people who use whatever words they can to communicate what's inside. We don't need to worry about impressing God when we come to him. We've already won his heart. And the question that they ask at the end is, what would be different about your interaction with God if you approached him more informally? I'd love to hear from you about what you think about that and you can make a comment below. It was good being with you this evening and everybody take really good care. Thanks.